So I'm Michael Mon, I'm Curtis's cousin, I'm David's cousin, and all the Agnes's cousin. So uh, for me, I keep thinking back, the Lemuel and Lemuel story comes, comes to me. So when I was younger, high school age, I remember being shipped to Michigan to come stay with the Atkinsons. My parents wanted to scare me straight from the loud rock and roll that I was listening to. So that's when I was introduced to the hardcore Mormon rap. Yes. <laughs> so, it was a rap. Yes. It was a perfect replacement. The, the, the original Mormon rap of, you know, the Lemon and Lemuel song. So I just remember that. I remember the blow push ups. Um, and then, you know, so just going back on that trip, it was, uh, you know, fun hanging out with Curtis and David and, and Michael. <laughs> Even though Michael's a few years younger, I kind of straddled between. Valerie's two weeks older than me, so we could have been twins, just different moms. <laughs> but, uh, but I remember going on that trip, and I just remember uh, just going to a beach party uh, at a at a house. And little did I know, Lake Michigan really has like big beaches. And, you know, <laughs> being from Arizona. We don't have water, <laughs> beaches, <laughs> but uh, I just remember feeling like, you know, the, the life was like, like a high school teenage movie of, you know, these beach parties with bonfires and, and uh, just always looked up to, you know, all my aunts and cousins actually, but, you know, without, you know, David, David is the super funny, like, jokester. Curtis is extremely funny, but the exact opposite. And so for me, for me growing up, you know, it was like, if I could have just a little bit of both, I think I'd be all right. So, so you know, I have a little bit of Curtis and probably more of David, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, no, just, uh, just really good memories. And Curtis has always, uh, Curtis has always just been a, a great influence on my life. And, just always, you know, looked up to you, so. Thank you. But yeah, just the hardcore Mormon rap. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis, you need some water? Yeah. I think that's it. Huh? There might be some more. Devin, you want to I can go. Well, I can, oh no, I'll go before that. Yeah, you go. <laughs> I'll go before that. I knew if I did that, you'd go. <laughs> I, I'm not a relief pitcher here. Um, so I, I met Curtis, like like most of you, when we were roommates on the East Coast. And, uh, we, and you had a baby together? <laughs> yeah, we were, uh, we were di working different jobs. I was a dog groomer, and Curtis was driving a limo. She drove me to the airport. She left a briefcase full of ransom money. We took my work vehicle and drove across the country to find her in Aspen, Colorado. So, um, the rest is history. Um, uh, no, I, I met Curtis been seven years ago. Um, they were uh, a family in San Francisco. Um, and uh, it was at a time in my life where um, I'd, I'd recently lost my mom and my, my dad had been, had been gone for a decade or so at that point. And so they were kind of like the really like the, the surrogate parents that I, I really needed at that point in my life. And um, a couple years later when I went through a divorce, I was super worried that I would lose them in the divorce that, because they'd, they'd taken our, me and my ex-wife in. And so I launched a shadow campaign to win them over and just to hear myself and make sure it was the one I fought for, like and very specifically. And now, um, you know, like like my this is my this is my daughter Stella, um, and my 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 wife Melissa. Uh, you know, they're you know I call I call Stella their first grandkid. Like they they were there for me when when I really needed it. And you know, these are these are lifelong and beyond relationships. So. Here, well, you got to tell them that you, you have like several one quote lines from Curtis. I reserve the right to reinvent my career every five years. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's Curtis. Yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> which, which wasn't what he meant because I, I'm, I'm telling you that as a justification to reinvent my career weekly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it reminds me like when I would, when I would call home from my mission, um, my my mom would, would would really just talk ninety percent of the time, and then I would, and then the hour it was back when you, it was just an hour twice a year, 
and the time would be about up, and I would hear my dad breathing in the background, and then he would say, I have some things to say. And, and then it, we, we, when was it, like three weeks ago when we, all, we talked when y'all were in England? And it reminded me of that, because Nettie sent me this picture of, of Curtis just listening. And it, it goes to show, like, you know, any observant person can become really, really smart and really, really deep. And uh, if, they, if they have the curiosity and they have the wonder that, that people like Curtis Atkinson have. So, thanks, man. Love to go. Well, luckily I'm really beautiful when I cry. <laughs> How could I not? I'm also going to cry. Thank you for everybody being here. Scott, he hated it when I drove fast. He used to drive to the temple. And he's like, do you have to go 90? And then who else thought was intimidated and wondered if they didn't like him? I, I feel like for six months we were dating, I didn't think he liked me. <laughs> Um, something you don't know about Curtis, and I think are so cool, is he always advocated for every female that worked for him. Not in a creepy, I want something back kind of a way. <laughs> he always advocated for women. Recently, he has a Russian employee who sent him this sort of passive aggressive message saying that she should get a raise. And he didn't get angry, he didn't get defensive, he didn't get furious, he got curious. And he said, Ekaterina, you definitely deserve a raise. You're incredible. You're one of my best employees, but you don't ever say that you exceed expectations, and that's what you need to say. So instead of getting angry, he sat with her for three hours and showed her the compensation plan and talked her through it, and she said, well, if in Russia, if I say these things, I get fired. She said, you're so good, you're going to be working internationally your whole life, and he showed her how to advocate for herself. And I think if you talk to he's made he helped, and then he helped her get a new internship, in something else she wanted to do, which he's done all the time. The other thing that you guys all miss out on is seeing Curtis dance around the house, <laughs> which is so great. And the one thing I wanted to say, which will make me cry, <laughs> Curtis shows love in the simplest things. <laughs> we got this, this is so stupid, but we got this smoothie mix with bananas, and I hate bananas. <laughs> And I didn't want the bananas in my smoothie. It's stupid. But I went down that morning and he'd taken all the bananas out of the smoothie. <laughs> and he just always shows love in these simplest ways. And like the other day, it was at my dad's house. My dad is older and he gets cold, he sees, so the heat is just pumping in and we're so uncomfortable. So Curtis searched the whole house. I didn't know he was doing this for a fan. And he couldn't find one except a hand fan. And he just came and sat by me and just hand fanned me. <laughs> so, um, what else do we want to say about Dad? There's just too much, right? He's the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> so we're devastated. So we appreciate you all being here and all your help. <laughs> because it's going to be new for us moving forward. <laughs> we depend on him. And we enjoy him. And he makes life so much more fun and funny, um, and he's given us such a good life, you guys, right? So we love you. Thanks, everybody. Um, thank you, everyone, for sharing. Um, I'm sure there are a lot more stories, and um, <laughs> So we have a phone downstairs um, for uh, recording, and you also have your own phones that you can also record. Uh, please can send to you, right? Yeah. So uh, please send your, your memories, your stories, whether they're written, audio, video, um, pictures. Um, it's uh, it's important. Oh, it's a little curtains. Two. Um, and we all just know these pieces. And uh, we're, you know, whenever we, I meet somebody that knows Curtis, I kind of discover again how great he is. And that's nice another testament to that. 
So anyway, uh, thank you everyone. And uh, uh, so please send those things and uh, we've got some more socializing to do. So let's get to it. <laughs>